Good day everyone! So, ito naman po tayo sa ating short tutorial. So, yung focus naman po natin ngayon is dun pa rin po sa teams. So, yung teams pa rin po. So, marami po yung nagtatanong kasi daw sa dami na ng video ko sa teams at sa Office 365 kung paano nga ba daw mag-present ng presentation nila like PowerPoint para po makita ng audience. Tapos yung iba daw nakakapag-present ng PowerPoint pero yung videos in PowerPoint daw po hindi daw po nila marinig or hindi daw po nila ma-share. Kaya yun po yung focus ng ating discussion uh, in this video. So, uh, pre-requests lang po ng video na to Dapat po alam na po ninyo kung paano po mag-create ng team. So, nasa isang video ko po yan. And kung paano din po mag-schedule po ng meeting. So, anyway, ito po yung team po natin in uh, Depth Ed Division of Late. Eh. Mga teams po natin yan. So, alam po natin na kung employee ka po ng Division of Late, you are assigned to one of these area team sites. Okay? And for school heads, nandyan po tayo. And for Filipino teachers na may ongoing webinar from September this week actually. September yan. And then for the English circle, yung sa English naman po natin ng mga teachers, meron din po dyan. Okay, next week, that's September 21 to 25. And for next week din po, meron din po sa team site na to for LRMDS. And I hope po na naisali na po yan or you are there already. So, yung mga expected participants po natin. Now, in creating, ito naman po, demo team site po natin to sa late. Eh. Then, in creating kasi a meeting, well, actually, you can just go to that specific team site. Just like this. Tapos, yung target mo naman na audience ay dyan naman sa team site na yan. Dyan ka na pumunta. And then, you can just click here. Dito po sa upper left corner, no upper right. Huwag pong mag-click ng meet but instead may drop down po dyan. You can just click there and then you can have schedule a meeting. So schedule a meeting. Again, just type the title, the required attendees, the, the date, okay, date and the time. Tapos kung continuous yan, uh, let us say 3 days straight, you can just put their costume and then let us say from 17 to uh, you know 20 or something like that and then just click save so every day po yan from September 17 to or let us say September let's change this kasi bukas dapat kasi hindi na to magiging yan 18 to 20 then lagin mo yan ng time so let us say you start from uh, 8 in the morning now where's that 8 in the morning up to 5 in the afternoon then every day po yun from September 18 to 20 okay then click send so yan magkakaroon na po yan ng schedule na demo site dyan so dyan po sila pupunta na yung mga members po ng team site na yan so to join actually you're just going to join with a code or invite ka po ng owner so sa DepEd naman po division of late eh, we are using we are using uh, inviting someone using a code so using a code so though meron naman pong ini-invite natin na guest uh, the the owner of the team site invites someone po na maging guest po nila okay now let us try this. Ito yung kanina eh, sa demo namin for English literacy for next week. Kasi next week po yung, uh, next week po yung schedule nila, but September 21 to 25 yata. So, let's just click that and then let's join the meeting. Okay, now if I join, if I, this is turning, para po, maging polite po pala tayo, uh, netiquette natin. Once joining, off po natin tong camera natin at microphone para po hindi po tayo makadisturbo sa meeting or ongoing po na discussion. Kasi kapag nagka-on po yan, tapos nag-join ka, tapos bigla ka magtatanong, nakapasok na ba ako? Naririnig na ba ako? Ganyan. So, madidisturb po yung meeting. So, that's a netiquette po natin na dapat nating tandaan. Okay? So, off lang po natin yan. Then, join now. Okay. Now, if Kasi wala namang kasama dito. Eh. Kaya wala pang waiting, uh, waiting for others to join daw. But if you are the one presenting or you will be the one presenting, uh, actually it is good kung naka-on yung camera mo and then naka-on din yung 
mic mo pero yun kung medyo mahina yung internet mo turn off mo lang yung camera mo and then how to share screen so nandyan po yan meron po yung button na ganyan share content okay share content or doon po sa mga hindi pa po nag update yung mga hindi pa po nakakapag-update sa teams nila this uh, taskbar dito ay makikita po nyo center dito po yan makikita sa baba ng inyong picture sa may center po dyan, sa may bottom bottom part center, kung hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-update, so yung mga buttons po na ito, yung show participant, show conversation, raise your hand, yung ellipsis na to, the camera icon the mic icon, the share button icon, is nasa center button po, kung hindi pa kayo nakakapag-update okay, so kung nandyan naman siya sa center button, okay lang naman basta you are familiar with these buttons here Then you're just going to click this share content. So share content. You're going to click that. Yan. And now, ito yun. Make sure na kapag meron pong video kayo sa PowerPoint or sa content ninyo, make sure to include computer sound or minsan dun sa hindi pa po nakakapag-update, ang nandyan po is include system audio. Yun po yung nandyan nakalagay. But for those na nakapag-update na tulad ko, That's include computer sound. So, dapat naka-on po yan. Naka-on. Sabi, switch speakers. Yan. Kasi I'm using another, kumbaga, an external sound box. Kaya hindi po siya pwede. I will be switching. Tapos nagre-record po ako ngayon. But for those of you in a normal meeting, you need to click that. Hindi naman po siya lalabas dyan. You need to include computer sound. Okay? And then, That's the time you select your PowerPoint or any other file na pwede dyan. Select for you to present. So, kapag nag-present ka po, parang normal lang na PowerPoint presentation or no, normal lang na nagpe-present ka. Kung desktop po, ibig sabihin po, kapag nag-present po kayo nyan, whatever po na nandyan sa desktop mo, makikita po ng audience. Kaya ingat po tayo dyan. Kasi baka may nakatagong hindi po dapat makita ng audience. Okay? Now, another is, if I'll stop sharing po muna. Dito po kayo nagsa-stop sharing dito banda. Meron po yung X, parang X something. Stop sharing. And another is, option is oh, another window. For example, uh, meron kang, ito yung mga windows to eh. Pwede yung power, pwede yung si Teams, pwede yung si PowerPoint mo, or kahit na anong window po na nandyan. So, kahit nga Excel, Word, or kahit anong file or kahit pa mag-edge ka or mag-google mag chrome nasa internet that's what you can share okay and another powerpoint file or kung gusto mo ng whiteboard whiteboard din is also parang nasa classic ka po talaga nagsusulat so like this let's try whiteboard whiteboard po is something like that okay tapos ay wala ka palang whiteboard file ayan whiteboard naglaload lang po siya tapos You can have the option if ikaw lang yung pwedeng mag-edit ng whiteboard or pwede naman yung participants mo can actually edit uh, your whiteboard. So, for now, I'll just click present. Yan, ako na lang muna. So, parang nagka-classical lang like this. Okay, class. So, 1 plus, uh, I mean, 4x plus uh, the equation 4x plus 5y equals... Uh, let us say 20. Oh, pangit ng pinmanship ko. And the equation, let us say 2x minus y equals 4. Find the value of x and find the value of y. So, yan. Parang nasa board, whiteboard lang talaga. Pero, dito nga lang, that's digital. So, you can just erase it again. I mean, you can just erase it. Teka. And you can just add also notes. You can type notes there. And you can, you know, pull these things up like that. And then, you can just, uh, you can export your, 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 your things there para po maging image file siya. Then, you can just stop presenting again. Okay, and again, that is the bot. That's this is the magic button here. Yung parang may arrow up. That's share content. 
you can select audio ito po yung wag niyo kakalimutan kasi kapag nakalimutan po yan nagbaba naglulupang hinirang ka na po hindi po nila naririnig yung audio or nag nag ano pa ba nagpe-prayer na may video ka may may video ka in your presentation hindi po nila yan maririnig pati yung sounds so again make sure to click this include computer sound or kung nakalimutan mo naman madali lang naman eh, like this kung nakalimutan mong mag sabi sabi na sir walang audio or ma'am wala pong audio ah, ganito lang kung nakapag share screen ka na punta ka lang sa taas sa center part na taas may lalabas po dyan itong panel na to meron pong sound dyan sabi dyan sa sound include system audio so para lang yan mag on ng sound if you don't want the sound na ma -share, marinig ng iba i-click mo lang siya ulit para hindi na siya ma-include yung system audio na yan okay so yan lang po Uh, I'll stop sharing this yan po yung way natin on how to present or share our presentations presentations or screen during a virtual meeting or during a virtual conference in Microsoft Teams again maraming salamat po and I hope uh, this short video tutorial was able to help you a little bit so thank you so much and good day